Hello, everybody, for an audio edition of Voice of Reason. This is Jake Schwartz. It is February 2016 in the New Jersey State non-public South Group B State Playoffs for the second straight year. We're back up here at beautiful Trent Catholic Academy, and look who I found. One of my favorite young men I've enjoyed working with for the last four years, Marquise Bell. Marquise, welcome to Voice of Reason. It's so good to see you, my friend. Yeah, it's always a thrill whenever I get to chit-chat with you because you always deliver good insight. Uh, tonight was certainly a game that did not start off the way you wanted it to. Um, you trailed only 2 nothing, and that was it. So really, that wasn't the worst thing that happened. But you did manage to put up almost 35 points, really, most of which came in the second half. 67-30, to 30, you go on to win. You'll face Matter Day or... Uh, Don't Academy on Thursday. What's the thing you're going to need to do to focus on that game? We just got to get ready and prepare for it. And tonight was really not the best of night for your front court mate, Richmond Araguza, who three Ivy League coaches are after him, and that's Cornell Harvard. Everybody's after Richmond. I mean, he certainly has been getting his stock has continued to rise, but uh, really a breakout night for Chris Ford, a game-high 15 points. Your thoughts on him tonight? He be coming. He he, he he be coming a great player because we've been working together and we've been trusting each other. So that's what makes him so so much better. There's two of the five uh, starters who are back from last year's uh, uh, New Jersey State basketball team. Uh, Miles Powell has graduated last year. Um, is now really just focusing on. He is still at South Kent, so he is focusing his attention now on. Uh, graduating from, or I guess finishing up there and then getting ready for Seton Hall. Malachi Richardson, who I happen to know very well, has done very well for himself at Syracuse, averaging 13 a game. So what has been kind of your job replacing uh, two of the five starters and Marcus Floyd now also playing postgraduate basketball? It's really hard to, it's really hard to take one of them, take one of my spots because they was very good, but I'm very really good too. So it just, uh, I just gotta work as hard as as they work. How much better of an athlete do you think that I could, I've actually been over people like yourself? Though, how many times have I ever dumped on you in one on one? It's um, probably never, right? No, never. Don't Academy or Matter Day coming up uh, this Thursday night at 6 o'clock. Should be a lot more competitive than the game tonight. Although hats off go to this uh, number 14 seed by the name of uh, Coin Audia, this Greek school out of Plainfield. Considering the fact that their bus breaks down tonight, things don't get any worse again for them. But uh, your thoughts on Aaron Wirt, but He really had his way tonight on Richmond. Yeah. The big guy. Yeah, it was, it was okay. It was a good game. You know, we should have came out and played harder. It could have, it wouldn't have been that close. Opportunity to do that Thursday night. Who do you like in that game? Uh, Trenton Catholic or uh, Don Academy or Matter Day? I know. I'm only just teasing. Marquise, always good to see you, my friend. That's Mar. That's again Marquise Spell joining us. Hopefully, we'll be joined by Big Richmond Aragusa right after this. The 2016 edition of the NJSIAA non-public Group B South playoffs. I'm Jake Schwartz for another audio edition of Voice of Reason. Hello, everybody, once again for another audio edition of Voice of Reason. This is Jake Schwartz again. Uh, Trenton Catholic, the number three seed, has knocked off the number 14 seed, Coin Audia, by a score of 67-30. And look who I found back here at Trenton Catholic Academy, one of my favorite big men I, I've always enjoyed speaking with, whether it's at We Are One in AAU or regular season, the big fella himself, Richmond Araguza. It's so good to see you again, my friend, and welcome to Voice of Reason. The new high school and college sports show serving the Tri-State area. I should point out that this show, by the way, should not only be known as Voice of Reason, it should be known as Voice of I've Dunked on Richmond Araguza. I'm only teasing. It's good to see you again, my friend. Yes, always a thrill whenever I get to work with you. Uh, slow night, really, on your part. Uh, just talk about that matchup with you and Aaron Wertman, because Aaron Wertman really led the way for most of the night. He did finish with 12 points. Uh, he made some nice moves on you uh, uh, in, in the ball game. Me, obviously. Oh, that's the big guy. Yes, yes. No, not 20. Um, tw- the, the big guy, the one who, uh, I think it was 20, but go on. Which one, the lefty? Uh, no, no, that was Clemente. Clemente was the... Uh, the senior. So you uh, yes, the senior. the senior. I didn't guard him like that. Really? Because I thought you were matched up on him. No, no, yeah, I really beginning. thought you were matched up on I him. I started on 20. 
Well, nevertheless, though, um, let, let's talk he's about. Not, he is, yeah. Let's talk about again uh, what, what's been going uh, on with you because, you know, tonight three college coaches were present. That's Cornell, Harvard, and Brown, all of which came to see you. And I know that uh, just a few moments ago you had a nice chat with uh, Cornell. Um, you've got over 2,000, I'm told, on your SATs. And, uh, you know, there had been rumors going around you might uh, reclass to 2017. I know that's probably not going to be the case. Um, what do you feel like you could do uh, if you transition yourself over to the Ivy League? What type of impact can we expect out of you? Uh, of course, I look at the Ivy League because of what it can do for me for a life after basketball. But nonetheless, when I go to the Ivy League, I plan like every other I plan to make an impact on the conference. Of course, I understand it'll be growing pains in the freshman year, but I trust that whenever I choose to go to my college, it's because I trust the coaching staff and what they can do with me and the program. There's, yeah, there's been a lot of stuff going on this year, especially with um, being as long as I've known you. Malachi Richardson gone. He's at Syracuse, 13 a game. Miles Powell doing a great post grad year over at. Uh, at, uh, I guess you could say at South Kent, what has been the best part about really getting more of a uh, spotlight here at Trenton Catholic under Coach Fred Fauci? Uh, it's more like about developing more, allowing my game to, sh to shine as it were, for lack of a better word, more. Uh, developing slowly my post game offensively. Defensively, as a team, we're getting more inclined because we know we can't. We lost so much offensive weapons. Yes, sure. So now it's problems on our defense and how we can stop guys. You know, I got to remember this because um, I, if I remember correctly, you were actually born in France, were you not? Italy. You were born in Italy. Because I know that when you talk, you sound like you're French. <laughs> you're Italian, right? Well, do you speak well, fluently? Italian, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. I used to dunk on an, on an Italian basketball player by the name of Kobe Bryant. That ring a bell to you? No. You don't believe that at all, right? Um, who's Kobe Bryant? Be quiet. <laughs> Coming up this Thursday night, Matter Day, Doan Academy. What do you feel like you're going to need to do? Matter Day could likely be the team you'll face 25-1 and one under new head coach Ben Gamble. What must you do to keep this thing going so that you can uh, most likely play Gil St. Bernard's? Uh, we got to defend. We can't allow them to score points on us. We got to rebound. We can't give them any second chance off of it. Once we get the ball, it's time to go, and we got to take care of the ball. We can't turn the ball over. Offensively, we've got to let it come to us. Richmond Aragusa, 67 30. Trenton Catholic again advances for the second straight year, at least to the second round. Can they continue that run? We'll find out Thursday night. Richmond, always a pleasure to see you, my friend. This has been another presentation, again, of Audio Edition of Voice of Reason, as, again, Trenton Catholic Academy has gone to 21-5 with a 67-30 win over the likes of Coin Audio, behind 15 points from Chris Ford and 14 from Marquis Spell. From all of us, again, here at Trenton Catholic, I'm Jake Schwartz for another Audio Edition of Voice of Reason. Don't forget, Dick Weiss will join us tomorrow in a live edition of Voice of Reason. Until then, from here, all of us at Trenton Catholic, I'm Jake Schwartz. We'll see you at the games.